scared and brave. Scared and brave. <laughs> Show up brave. You know, I learned about mountain biking when I was out west and saw it on a video and just thought it was so cool. You know, I was first introduced to it long, long time ago when I was still ski racing. But I just, you know, I was kind of a single sport person at the time, really focused. And so it took me a long time to actually get into mountain biking and I just fell in love with it because it's very similar to skiing where you get to get out of your wheelchair and get out in the mountains and the trails and just feel free. My husband loves mountain biking and I just got my bike a year and a half ago and it was the first time that we got to go mountain biking together and it was just, I mean it brought me to tears because that is a piece of bond that we hadn't shared to that point and now we get to and that is a huge part of you know, having a partner that's able-bodied and I have a disability, we can do this together. You know, for me to be able to come out and ride with friends, it's like life-saving, life-affirming as a person with a disability to be able to come out and be with my friends and do things with them. It's just, it's really, it is, li it is truly life-saving. It's hard to get in the wild places in your wheelchair. You know, you're looking for pavement, you're looking for ramps, you're looking for the elevator. And out here on this thing, I can feel free to go where my friends are going, family's going. It's just really, really freeing. There are so many benefits to having an inclusive trail system where anybody can go. First of all, you get to go together cool people out here with you you know people that have the same kind of mindset they're not indoor cubicle people <laughs> they are let's go do something fun and feel the breath in our lungs and you know just feel excited about life <laughs> there's so many times and so many opportunities to be isolated I can go home and sit on my phone and pretend that I'm connecting to people but it's not till you get out and face to face and you're following each other, you're paying attention to where each other are on the trail, you're connecting in a different way. When you're recreating together, you're breathing together, you're creating this pace together, you're having an experience together that creates bonds and way tighter communities recreate together. I mean, it's like you're a team. You're working on something that, and you're making memories, you know, at the same time. You know, I, I firmly believe that bravery doesn't just come from throwing yourself down a mountain. It also comes from being vulnerable and sharing what you have to offer with one another. And being brave isn't just about doing things solo. It's really brave to do things together, to share life together. I think it's harder, you know? It's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to put yourself out there. And, but that's, that's what true bravery is. Scared and brave, scared and brave. <laughs> because you might be totally scared out of your mind, anxious, you know, I mean, so much anxiety running as a pulse through our communities, our society. But if just go anyway, just show up anyway. And if you just show up, that means you are brave. You are willing to put yourself out there and do it. Just, you know, live life. I believe trails build strong communities, absolutely.